I almost forgot to turn on the microphone. <laughs> so, a very warm greeting to you all. I hope you're doing very well wherever you may be viewing from. And thank you for joining me on this week's episode of Bayou Gold Guy. I am Bayou Gold Guy. And we are uh, our first first day of May out here getting some gold from a very cool and brand new pay dirt collaboration uh, from two awesome pay dirt providers and channels. So I'm very uh, honored to have gotten a chance to get an early bag of this and present it to you guys. Uh, Dan, uh, Dylan Miller did this on his Tuesday night show this week, introducing it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, but we're going to go into a little more depth on it for uh, uh, get a little better look at it on this on this look, and uh, yes, it is uh, like I said a collaboration. So uh, there'll be two two different sources to get to get this stuff. So without further ado, except for uh, enjoying a little little early lunch today, and just so you guys, yes, I am that one American that really likes Vegemite. So we got a little Vegemite and butter sandwich here for. Uh, Get us started. Very good. My friend Ron Anderson was down this <clears throat> weekend. I gave him a little sample of it to try, and not a fan. <laughs> uh, actually, the only person the, the the person that surprised me that really liked it was my buddy Ben down here. Uh, I gave him some on the the four on the end of the knife, nice little dab, and he's like, "Oh, I said I'm not I'm not gonna you know screw you around. It's nothing, it's nothing nasty." And he tastes it. Like, oh man, that that's really good. So I got him some more, and uh, I ended up putting some in the corner of a baggie for him, like making up a making him up a twenty before he left. And uh, he was going to try to make it in a roux or something using it. So uh, he, uh, I haven't I haven't heard if he did anything with it yet or not. But yes, I genuinely like this stuff. I'm down. To, I'm almost halfway through my jar that I purchased. But I thought it was fitting since we're doing uh, gold nugget sales, and that's where. Uh, I was introduced to this with the Australian gold was the a different kind of Australian gold. Bourgeois, who'd have thought? <laughs> so, without further ado, on this beautiful sunny day in May, let us turn to our new gold epicenter of South Louisiana, which is the source of some new gold coming out of Arizona. That's right. Our table... Where X, eh, not so much marks the spot anymore because it's just about <laughs> just about disintegrated away. As you can see, like I said, we're in need of table repair. But yes, there we have the awesome, the washes from the Brothers Dose, Mike and Mike. The washes, Arizona red gold pay dirt. So, I mean, is this red gold? Is, are, we, are we getting red gold? Because that's what it sounds like to me. I'm expecting to see some rare red gold out of this. A Mike and Mike collaboration. A Mike and Mike production. <laughs> and uh, there you see, VendettaProspecting.com and uh, GoldNuggetSales.com. Very, very magnanimous of Mike to give uh, Vendetta top billing on his bag, I would say. <laughs> and... Uh, but it is a collaboration. You can get this on Mike's site. I think the bag is a different color, at least the one I saw, or um, in the same label. Or you can get it on uh, Mike's site, the Gold Nugget Sales. But you can see that what they are seeing between, that is a gold nugget that this prospect or the guy who, who they've gotten this gold from in Arizona, uh, uh, he's gotten over like a half a million dollars in gold that he's collected over the – the decades here, but he found that two, two separate pieces. And, uh, until recently just put it together when he was cleaning it up and realized that it was actually one large slab of gold. So very awesome. That's a, uh, but yeah, that's a, um, on the gold vlog that Mike has on his channel, uh, Mike with gold nugget sales. And, uh, yeah, I'll leave a link for that in the description. So you can check that out as well. As, and, of course, a link to both of their uh, websites so you can uh, get this gold. It's in the one gram bag and the three gram bag. We've got the three gram bag. And uh, like I said, whenever if you saw my mail call the other night, if you didn't, I had asked Mike if he would 
I needed some more garnets, and uh, but this is not a garnet bag, and I really wanted this bag. So rather than get the golden garnets bag, I asked him if he could throw in a, uh, a bag of garnets in the order. So $10, he did me the, the, the uh, wonderful favor of adding some garnets to this. So we've got a bag of a pound, one pound bag of garnets there. Of course, our candy for grown ups, the gold vlog sticker. And, oh, the classic thanks by you from Mike and his label warning that could be a stray piece of something in here. So always be careful, although we've never found anything in these. And a very red dirt, Arizona sandy dirt. So, uh, again, it kind of re 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 reminds me a bit of the uh, mine, Lynch lynch bags that we'd get some of that uh had some of that look to it and uh of course it's arizona too so i'm sure it's there is a connection there i'm not sure how close they are to where that particular was but yeah so very cool let's get some uh water set up and we'll get into these and see what we got <laughs> and just for a little update <laughs> yes this is this is my little bottle baby that is uh eating out of eating solid food now look at that belly and uh yeah like i said we were pretty worried i was rather really worried that she was gonna not make it on me but looking fr from that picture with uh, gizmo where her little face was all one eye was matted never would open and uh <laughs> so it is uh it's breaking my heart to have to get rid of this one i tell you she she sleeps on top of me now and i'm like I said, i'm her I'm her mommy because I was the one giving her the bottle for the last, uh, uh, whatever, six weeks. But she's, uh, like I said, they're eating solid food now. And uh, I'm only giving her a bottle once a day just to keep her weight up. And her little sister is doing very well, too. So, but yeah, that's, again, since that since that face, she looked so bad in that, uh, <laughs> that shot when I first showed her when I was trying to get her to start eating. And, uh. And yeah, we're much better now. So somebody's gonna get them a, a very sweet, a very sweet little kitten. And yeah, yeah. And she's and she's used to other cats and she's used to dogs and to people <laughs> picking on her for fleas and uh forcing bottles down her throat and everything. So yeah, but there you go. I just was gonna I just thought I went in to grab something she was under my feet because now they're moving around the house. So like I said, we're just we're just days away now from me taking her down there and sitting out and trying to trying to find a good home hopefully i'll get her and her sister adopted together and uh make them and take send and get them out as a pair so so all right all right so you back in the house you go and i thought we might take a look at one of my other little here we've got old chomper we showed him uh blooming out from a week or two ago but now Let's see if we can get, I gotta get position here. I didn't realize I was so blocked in, but you can see we've had the swarm starting again of, where are, where are they, where is it? It's hard to see in the damn sun out here, but you can see in this, in the, in the background here, where am I? Am I even in the picture yet? Are we too low? Oh, no, we're too, okay. I wasn't even up there yet. So, yeah, you can see our, our little jaws here. But in this one, this one's closed. And you can see the butt of an insect hanging out of it. And it's actually one of those love bugs that swarms down here. They're attached to the, well, that one's still, oh, well, damn it. <laughs> It's been stuck on there for I don't know how long, and uh, it ate its mate. And I was gonna pick it up and put it in the uh, in the jaws here, like on one of these. And you see, it closes up pretty pretty quick, and then it'll it'll uh, it'll open back up there because there's nothing in it to keep it closed. But yeah, we were gonna feed him, <laughs> and then I didn't know it had that much spunk in it. Where it just uh, took off and flew away as soon as it got broken free. So. Yeah, those things are a terrible pain in the ass down here. If you're trying to paint anything white, they uh, especially when they're swarming, they will cover it. And uh, it was really bad. They come in the spring and the fall. But uh, so, but yeah. Anyway, that's uh, yeah. That's it'll 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 actually digest that. Where is he now? 
it'll digest that bug there that's hanging out of it it's pretty much almost done probably and it's missing the abdomen which is the bulk of what it wanted for its nutrients but um and then when it opens up it's just the shell of the bug that's left it doesn't just dis disappear so but yeah all right all right well I, I still can't believe that bug flew away on me so let's uh let's break out our keep america great cutlery and we'll check out our most beautiful garnets first. I guess we'll dump in the bigger pan first. And we've got us a nice, looks like some uh, a, a variety of, of some flatter flatter stones this round, which is unusual. Very cool. And then as usually as is the case, there'll be a, an occasional uh, polished stone that's mixed in with these. I've had I've had a um, little piece of turquoise. I've had little pieces of other stones. I don't see. There was something else I saw in the bag when we were before we dumped it out. But uh, there's one. That's a. Uh, not sure if that's a marbled garnet or not. But there's again we've got some that have the white in them. That they are polished and and I'm sure they're burnished with the uh, the finishing on it too because he he has a a couple that he buys these from that's all they do is I don't know if it's all they do but that they collect and oh there it is that was the one I was looking for that's one that was in, showed up in the bag there that little polished square very cool but uh but yeah they polish. Uh, he gets his polished garnets from them, and uh, then there's always different, different. You never know what size there's going to be. Sometimes they're larger, sometimes they're smaller, sometimes they're flatter. These are some flatter ones, so very unusual. For uh, there's some rounder they're mixed into, and then there's some smaller ones along with the big ones, even down to some really tiny ones. Usually we don't see too many of those, so that's cool. I like having the variety of sizes there for sure. But uh, yeah, there's there's our batch of fresh gator eyes. <laughs> so I've been going through too many bags of pay dirt. So I was uh, running low. So we will put these in here and set them out to dry in the Louisiana sun. And the sun in May gets pretty damn warm. Actually, let's uh, go out and take a look. We'll set these out with our that's right our sand if y'all saw the mail call from mr ron andrews brought me down from cincinnati on his trip this weekend this is right out of the the great lakes beach of the great lakes and uh oh watch out you okay what's better gizmo you tangled up he's out here out here getting some sun i don't know how much he's enjoying it but <laughs> it's but uh yeah so what i do is i go through and make some you know cut some furrows in it to uh oh we zoom out there yeah to get it more surface area showing like you would in your garden and you can see where it kind of sloughs back in and uh but already even only in a half a day out here in the sun this this was very wet beach sand and it is already drying very quickly so it'll be it'll be mostly all all dried up by the end of the day and you can already see where it's pulling whereas before when it was wet it was full of yellow it was just clumped with yellow now we're starting to get our true true black sands in there so if y'all haven't gotten to see my variation on my magnet there is to use a you, I, I go to the far, uh, Walmart pharmacy and get a, one. Of, they've got different size pill bottles. So I had one. And I got a second one that's just big enough to sleeve over it. So when you pick that stuff up, otherwise, when you're trying to pull the magnet out, it's very hard and it pulls the stuff up the side. When you've got that extra sleeve, 
frees it up very easily because there's some of the stuff when you get enough magnets where when it pulls that in there if i'm trying to pull this magnet straight out you can see it's <laughs> it's hard just for just for that much it's anchored in there so having that sleeve to pull free makes all the difference so if you guys uh like i said they gave them to me for free at just for asking at the uh at the walmart pharmacy and then there's some off that other pan again you can see we've got so we'll let this dry up good and then go through and do all that get all that separated and then uh then we'll start going through looking for our naturally occurring gold this is like i said this is nothing uh nothing added to this this is the way it came off the beach oh we're gonna find a garnet in there at least <laughs> yeah well no there's a garnet to be found there's my baby boy one year one year with this now yeah he's uh a year and a half old because he was six months when i found him they said so all right now back to back to business at hand We've seen our garnets. Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you again, Mike, for that. And uh, again, you guys will be getting you guys will be getting those in your pay dirts. So let's get our dry pan here. Oh, there's another another stray garnet I flipped out. That's one thing when like I said when I tear when I remove this uh, stand. As you can see, right, the X is X is gone. You have to you need the map to find the X to find the that's right to find the treasure <laughs> and uh, but uh what am i doing here but uh i wasn't sure <laughs> i wasn't sure if it's recording or not um but yeah that's something i i do expect that i will find is probably the stray garnet or two that made it out of the wash or the peridot or something of that nature whenever I would be picking out gems and such. So let's break out our our big Mind Lab Pro since I got this from Vendetta Prospecting on the uh, Prospector's Ball giveaway and uh, contest that he had for what did I win for? Best best food? <laughs> it's something to do with all the with I think the, the grilling, all the grilling. Uh an honor. I will certainly honor take that. I had a very cool trophy. And then uh, he randomly picked prizes for the ones that had won the, the different categories. And uh uh yeah, my happen to get the, the 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 finishing pan and the mine lab and the the um uh headlamp which I use basically every day between uh, gizmo and uh, using my tweezers to pick fleas off the kittens. <laughs> it's, a, it's been an ongoing flea battle here for, for some time. I can't treat anything when they're all, when they're nursing or feeding or licking on each other with traditional poisons. So let's see what our magnet shows us in this stuff. I would not expect much out of it, but you can see that is like, Iron ironstone looking to me more than it would be probably magnetite. That would be my guess. If if Rock Butcher is in the in the house there, he could clear that up for us very clear, very easily. But yeah, when you can see it pulling up like that, I'm pretty sure that's ironstone. But we'll look at it as we as we clean this off. And see if it has a a magnetite look to it or rusty iron. So, all right. Well, and like I said, it's uh, I, I had to get this bag for uh, because uh, you know the two mics on it. It's just uh, there's no no question. But it's 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 hard for me whenever um, comes time to getting pay dirts from Gold Nugget Sales. When you're getting a when you get the three ba three gram bags because uh, he's got so many pay dirts that you can get you know a nice big gram and a half or bigger nugget as part of your bag, that's just a hard thing to pass on. But uh, like I said, we had to, we had to give this a, give this a try. So we're uh, we're gonna see what they're putting out from Arizona. 
Like I said, Miller did uh, did this on his channel Tuesday night, and uh, it like I said, it was some very very reminiscent of the Lynch gold, very uh, a very shiny gold, I guess. There was some fine gold in it too. Let's go ahead just for fun. It looks like we got some clay type action kind of holding this together too. So I imagine we're going to want to wash it down, let it soak good. But there we go. That's that is some red rock. You can see there's roots and bits of organics all through it. But at least this one, it'll, uh, if we do with that iron, with that iron that we picked up in here, it could be some heavy stuff hanging up with the, the finer gold and make it hard to rinse it, wash it down and get it out of the way. So probably best to do this and, uh, and have this stuff out of the way. Dry and dusty, but like I said, it'll be interesting to see if this is red clay type, uh, you know, dirtying up the water, if it's more like the Lynch, kind of dirty, but mostly clean red soil, but we're going to add our rinse aid, just in case they're trying to get hit us with some, some little stuff, wanting to float away. All right, let's, let's look again, take another look at our what we look like in our fine stuff here so again yeah if you had that down there mixed in with your fine gold you were trying to pull out and rinse down that could uh that could be a little difficult getting that washed out around the fine gold and again in our big stuff that's pretty much what we saw before a good amount a good amount of uh, magnetic sticking to it so all right. Well, got that. We got that. Our holding pan here. We'll mix in that black sand that we pulled out again. I don't think it's going to be too, too much of a problem for us. And let's kick off with a, a big pan of red dirt from Arizona going in. The Gold Vlog Vendetta Prospecting Collaboration Bag. The washes. And there you see, it looks like it turns pretty, uh, <laughs> turns pretty dark red pretty fast. Let's, uh, we'll do a little pour off. That's always a surprise when we go back through and see how much silt will fall out of that that flowed right out suspended in the water you'd assume that gold would be way too look at that another kicks up another layer of clouds in there and that stuff but we got mainly we're doing this to get the organics out of the way here all right But you can see that gold, that that dirt wants to flow very easily over that. So yeah, I'd got I'd contacted Mike about getting some of the glacier gold, and I'm guessing that that uh that big nugget in a one gram bag made it a little more popular than he was expecting because uh, I know he wasn't expecting to he was expecting to have that around for a little while, and uh, apparently it sold out very quickly. And uh, it wasn't even on his where, where it wasn't even on his website anymore, you know. And I was like, "Holy crap!" And uh, but that's when he got back and said that he could offer me the new uh, the new bag coming out here, and uh, just asked that. Uh, and he sent me a picture, of course, of the label there showing him and Mike. I'm like, "Oh, okay. Just don't please don't share this or show anybody to it till we introduce it on Tuesday." And that was, I thought he was going to do something on the vlog, gold vlog, his channel, but instead, uh, he had, he had, uh, 
had some for Miller. So oh, there's some gold popping through right there. Gold a popping. So uh, Miller did it on his Tuesday night show. So, but uh, yeah, I was just uh, I was just very honored that he would uh, give me a chance to to show you guys. And uh, of course, he's I mean he's he's sent me stuff before, so he knows he can trust me not to not to spill the beans on anything he's not ready to uh you know ready to do so that's not an issue i just really appreciate him uh his trust and his um support for the channel and uh like i said pr producing putting out the kind of stuff he does that you, you pretty much can't get anywhere else but gold nugget sales and not only does he have this pay dirt, but he also has a bunch of gold nuggets of this kind of, of this gold, of this material that he has. Uh, I guess we can zoom a little. That he has on his gold nuggets for sale website, where you can buy just the just the gold without the the pay dirt. And yeah, you can see right there that black that is holding at the top. That is exactly uh, the kind of stuff that can make it tough to <laughs> rinse your gold away if it's if it's very fine gold compared to the the pieces of uh, heavies that are holding it up. This is this stuff's washing down pretty good though, so it looks like we're winding back out there. And I'm already seeing a little bit of wire gold up in there, too. So I'm pretty sure the majority of what we're going to find from what, what Miller was showing will be in this less than kitchen strainer classification. But yes, it definitely has a nice... A nice bright gold shine to it there. And I'm seeing a couple of looks like a couple of strands of wire gold as well as some very fine gold. That is very good. We'd go out and look at it in the sun, but the clouds have, have moved in on me, so we'll check out another one. Like I said, you can see there's a couple of couple of wire gold like strands in there so very nice start on this like all right we're gonna go with a little little less in our pan this time and if you're doing this especially if you're like a beginning panner you'd probably want to go with that next that next level of this is my my mesh for uh <laughs> spatter spatter net for the pans on the stove but it works for that next level of breaking down because like i said you saw how big some of those particles were that were holding with that gold so you uh you, you um classify down to that next level so again you have smaller pieces you don't have to worry about washing away your gold Because you've got to be more aggressive and move the water harder to, to move the larger larger pieces of your material to get to the gold and then and consequently run washing your gold down. So yeah, so you we'll just do that little test pan here just to show you the difference in that next level of classification where you can see what the difference really is on it. We don't have nearly the we don't have nearly the pieces of larger black stone that were in there. It's all very fine along more of the size of our gold there. So we're able to rinse the material away. Oh, I guess I'm, I should show you the, the picture, right? We're able to l rinse the material away without moving that fine gold 
with a very easy wash. Like I said, you can either go back and forth to tilt or a very easy swirl. The purists say you should do the back and forth rocking <laughs> to clear your black sands and heavy metals from your gold. But I say whatever you're comfortable with doing to, that gets you your gold out. So there we go. And uh, so like I said, you can see a, a pretty big difference between that recovery and uh and what we had from the the first batch with all the the larger black specks that were in it and some fine gold recovered uh, I almost recovered so all right well i'm gonna go through some more of this fine stuff and we'll be back to see what we uh what we get all right we are back at the bottom of our Next pan here, and I was seeing some very, very good looking gold showing up again. I did a little less this time than I did the first, but not, not that much. <laughs> and uh, you'll be able to see by how much gold we end in this. So down here we are, we are celebrating the 45th anniversary of Alien. <laughs> Coming out of the theaters. I remember going to see that as a kid. Changed the way that you looked at uh, sci-fi. Uh, you can see again now with, with now that I'm back to not sifting that out. You can see we've got the larger pieces back in the in the in the mix. But yeah, they have re-released it at the theaters here. And uh I mean, I've seen it dozens of times, but, uh, and I'm not sure if they'll be playing the, the original theatrical version or the released extended version now they've got where that shows actually Dallas getting cocooned or, uh, you know, any number of other scenes that, that were not in the movie. Uh, some of them that weren't even completed, but they've, uh, there's been another, there's a number of different, uh, videos on youtube dylan were talking about it though but yeah so it's at the theaters here and uh, if it's like star wars it'll be you know a reduced not the full whatever 12 or 13 dollar rate to see it but it's still going on this week i was thinking about going up and trying to catch it on the big screen just for nostalgia and it's such a great movie to see and uh, see on the big screen again in modern, uh, you know, I don't know that it's that much, make that much difference. It, it was pretty good when it came out on the big screen. But yeah, very cool. Yeah, when I went and saw it then, you could still smoke on the left side of the theater, the whole left left section next to the wall was for smoking and of course we brought in our our little pipes and our personal personal tobaccos and <laughs> would would puff on that in between smoking the cigarette so you know it was made for a made for a fun movie experience but yeah Sigourney Weaver trying to squeeze into that space suit <laughs> My buddy had seen it before I did. He was younger than I was. We just moved to Dallas. And uh, he's like, oh, man, you got to go. We got to go see this movie. It's like, uh, there's saying it gets his face. And beep, 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 beep. And all this. And I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? Uh, you're, you know, you're making no sense. But, yes, it, uh, it changed the way we, we looked at Alien alien movies uh space space monster movies for dad sure there we go beautiful another awesome awesome pile yes and it was also the rare case where the the sequel was actually better than the 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 original because i remember going with my buddy another buddy to see it whenever uh when it came out and literally 
being on the edge of our seats the entire from from beginning to end pretty much of that movie uh it was just non-stop kicking ass so then whenever the third one came out where they're on the penal colony and they shave her head and uh that bullshit it was it was as good as the second one was was how bad we thought the third one was and how it just you know what the fuck this is not this is not even the same genre of movie as what's been tearing up the screen for the last two and of course it just went downhill from there but uh and now they're doing they're trying they're talking about some kind of reboot i'm not you know I really, whenever they're talking that crap, I really don't follow any of it until it actually, they talk about actually having something in production or they've already finished it with some kind of woke, woke crap. Since they forget Sigourney Weaver was one of the original badass women of the screen and uh, that poser nobody, Jennifer Lawrence, who did whatever that one movie that she was in that. Hunger Games, where for some reason she thinks that she was the first female action hero and <laughs> woman leading a role and, you know, never saw Star Wars with Princess Leia. No, so again, these delusional idiots in Washington, uh, Hollywood and Washington, they're, they, they're all interchangeable. Like they just found out, they just showed the broke the story of, of Biden using the, using the OnlyFans girls to they're they're paying <laughs> they're paying to promote you know to push their you know voting for biden with uh you know the younger generation that they're they've uh lost completely from between their woke trash and their terrorist supporting scumbag nazi uh islam uh congressmen and women and uh these schools where they're starting to actually arrest these pieces of shit and haul these terrorist scumbag out, and, you know, bust them up and send them on their way. Now they're saying that Biden, since he's lost the, uh, basically lost the, the extremist libtards that they were, that they've been cultivating all these years, you know, for <laughs> committing acts of extreme violence with no repercussions across the country. Now that they've uh, now that they've turned on their masters and uh, they have no control over these, uh, you know, this trash that's littering the college campuses and blocking off the Golden Gate Bridge and you know has brought you know literally third world desert shithole terrorism to America. Now they're going to start a uh, now they're going to start bringing in Palestinian refugees and sneaking them in by the. The hundreds, if not thousands, and dispersing them across the country. So again, there's no such thing as a Palestinian refugee. They're they're squatters and trespassers in a land where they should never have been. Eradicate all of them. If they're still there, they are terrorists. When they were driving that body of that young woman through town in the bed of a truck, it wasn't the the ones that raiding uh, Israel that were out there, it was the people running out of their houses, beating her body with a stick. You know, that's the kind of scumbag trash live there. They, they're, you know, if you're still there, you're a terrorist. Elim eliminate all of them, pack them up in ships, and you know, Israel. I mean, Saudi won't take them, Syria won't take them, Lebanon won't take them. Pack them up and set them somewhere in the middle of the damn desert, building a tent city, and leave them. Let them kill each other like they always have, but do not bring this human waste here. They're vermin. They need to be eradicated, not, <laughs> not uh, propagated. And like vermin, they spread. They will do nothing but propagate and take over, as you're seeing right now. I'm just, I'm sick of it, man. I say, you know, we've been, we, we spent years, these are the same people that, you know, that we've been fighting against that are the terrorists that have been murdering randomly and, and, uh, you know, brutally for decades after decades that now they've just used this as an excuse to, to openly hate, you know, openly, uh, anti-Semitic groups and, uh, I did philosophies that have always been there, but at least were squelched because, you know, if you openly said it, at least you would be ostracized and, uh, now they can uh, they can pre preach this bullshit, you know, with the support 
of uh, <laughs> and with validation, you know, coming out and saying we support Hamas, people that literally amputated, uh, uh, beheaded, and raped, raped infants and women and children and men, and they're still holding Americans hostage in a shithole land, you know. That again, it should already be it should already be leveled. <laughs> Go through with the bulldozers, bomb them out, bomb them out of the area, bulldoze it down so they can't come back, and just proceed all the way across Gaza, then north and south, until the country is eradicated. Then you can start worrying about rebuilding, putting in you know Israeli strongholds and supports that will keep any of those scumbags from ever getting back in the country. But no, I said. Make it a hundred mile dead zone around Israel. Dead zone kill zone. If you're in that, if you're in that area, you will be, you know, bombed. Period. But no, they want to bring that scumbag terrorist shit here and be on the same campus with your kids where you're paying ninety thousand dollars tuition a year to have your children exposed. To scum that you wouldn't, that they won't let fly on an airplane or ride a bus, <laughs> if they uh, if they knew who they were, wouldn't uh, you know you wouldn't let them you wouldn't let them you know anywhere near you because they are the they literally are the trash of the earth and have been for centuries after centuries. These are these are these are you know murderers that never stop. Until they are stopped. So I say it's time we stop them permanently. <laughs> All right, let's go. Nice batch of gold there. Let's uh, let's get on with count that done and move on to our big stuff. But I noticed sitting in the pan when I picked it up. It's like, how did I miss that when I when I put that down? Check that out. Nice gold nugget sitting on top. Just 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 waiting to be waiting to be picked up. Look at that beauty. Oh, get the weed off of it there. Very nice, beautiful. Whoa, come on, where are we? Oh, there we are. Beautiful chunk of gold. So nice character on it. Has that Arizona look to me. So, all right. Well, that's a that's a good start. We'll go ahead and dump out that side. So it's one of the first ones coming out. That looks like that looks like almost like some of the uh, unknown material that that Mike put out. The unknown pay dirt bag, reminiscent of that. Actually, you could probably say that about any a few of his dirts that uh, that had that same kind of look. Oh, another thing we've been <laughs> celebrating is thirty years. 30 year anniversary of um, Space Ghost Coast to Coast. <laughs> and, uh, of course, uh, I can remember being four years old whenever Space Ghost came out for Saturday morning cartoons. And uh, actually, I, I, what I really remember most is the, the preview for it saying that it was coming and like being so excited. Holy cow! All right, Space Ghost. Go, you know. That was. Uh, but yeah, what they came out. If you've never heard of the Space Ghost Coast to Coast, they they take his '60s character and put him in a uh, talk show setup <laughs> where he interviews guests, and uh, it, it, was, it was it was always pretty hilarious. Friday Friday nights at ten thirty. That's where you would find everybody at my house, and Irving was. Watching uh, Space Ghost Coast to Coast. <laughs> and it actually spawned a ton of shows from, uh, you know, the Venture Brothers to the Johnny Bravos and uh, probably, you know, uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force for sure. Uh, any any number. And actually, they've got a new, new seasons of Aqua Teen Hunger Force that have come out. I just discovered it was a, uh, they show five episodes. I've only got four of them on my high seas viewing but well that's not the same piece of big piece of gold we we dropped in there originally <laughs> that's a different big piece of gold check that out very nice 
and considering that there's no gold in Arizona, ah, pretty pretty damn good, I'd say. But where's the where's the piece that we saw? Oh, there it is. All right, there's our other piece, along with a few of few more of his little friends there. So, all right. Well, we've got we have got a nice some nice stuff coming up in our plus kitchen strainer size. And again, there's those large magnetics. Heavy enough to hang around that. So you got to wash it pretty hard to get those down. So if that was not classified out, we'd have been washing a lot of fine gold down in the pan, trying to move those big chunks out of the way. Wow, that is a nice... Uh, Nice batch of gold showing up there. But yeah, it's been playing on a 24-hour marathon now for the last week. And I keep, uh, it's on just, it just keeps coming up on YouTube on the uh, thumbnails. So I keep clicking back on. I got my favorite, uh, I think it's like 15 different episodes that they they roll through and then repeat it. But uh, I've got some of my favorites. Charlton Heston. <laughs> Interviewing Charlton Heston, Oscar winner. Talking Shakespeare with Space Ghost. That's, uh, that in itself is worth, worth catching it for. So, all right. Well, man, that's, that is gorgeous. I am, uh, I am really happy with what we're seeing there. I'll tell you that. I'm going to. Oh, and look at there on the top of the pan as I look down off to the side. Gizmo, what are you doing? That is, that's reminiscent of a piece of my uh, high grader. The, the crab that I have. Oh, that's a little different, a little different. Look, actually, it has more like the, the ant head. There's the jaws <laughs> with the two eyes. Ant jaws, ant as an ant head, ant, the ant head piece, but a very, a very nice piece of gold there. I'm liking it, or Australia. And there's, it looks like it could be Australia. Oh, yep, nice tick there too. All right, we are back at the bottom of another, and we've got more big stuff besides our our little ant head piece there. We've got got another nice flake in there with it. Of course, if you were doing this, like I said, uh, if you're a beginner, you could use that magnet, your magnet, to pull all this heavier stuff out of the way. But like Jem and Jeff told me when I started, as my mentor, he was telling me that, yes, you do all the black sand material that you can. And that's the best way to learn this stuff. And then... When you can retrieve that, when you can recover that, then you can recover anything. So that's, we always leave our stuff in, work through it. Well, if I'm trying to recover something really hard, we'll leave it in the first round, then go back, take it out to, uh, to try to get the super fine stuff. That's a nice chunky piece of gold right there. Look at that. Look, 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 like a, look like a duck decoy there for a second. I think it, it, it always have uh, people always comment on what they see. I liked the one where somebody saw a hippopotamus. It's like, yeah, I hadn't seen that till they said that, but yep, that was a hippopotamus. But yeah, depending on how you flip it and which way you turn it and look at it, it can. Uh, it can look like this, it's, or it's it's an ink block. All of them are an ink block test, but very nice. And then again, our ant. Where where are we? Our little ant head. The jaws. I do. I have a piece of the of the uh, high grader, and one looks like a. Like you could use it for Zodiac, like for Taurus or, uh, you know, Longhorns. 
and the other looks like it could be the or you flip it upside down it could be a crab like cancer and then the other piece i had was uh, that yeah one piece will look like either a crab or a bull depending on which way you flipped it and uh like that one you could that that one there could almost be cow horns facing up but they're not they're not exactly even but then i have the other one that looks like a a little dog or a, a cow <laughs> that was my first real nugget that was like seven tenths of a gram from gold nugget sales high grader we're still waiting for that to come back around mike's mike's uh talking that coming back so that would be very awesome so all right i think we got one more pan to recover we'll see what We'll see what she's hiding. I see another piece of gold right there. Every one of them's got a nice piece of gold showing up in it. There's a yet a different one. And a very nice. Go over the pan. Again, look at that. Just awesome character on these things. Oh, where's my hand? Where is it? <laughs> When it's zoomed in, I can't. I lose it. Yeah. But just look at, check that out. Very nice. So we've had some beautiful gold in every pan. There's a little, some pieces I see sitting on top there. So we're going to knock this down and we'll be back. Man, this one was just loaded with organics. Even had a even had a somewhat piece of a tree in there. <laughs> Desert scrub. Oh, that gold stands out though when it when it breaks uh, when it breaks through. But yes, I have not seen any red gold, so I'm not sure what the red gold part it should be red dirt really shouldn't it i mean technically piece of gold another piece of gold no red <laughs> i have seen that gold that has that red very red hue to it and not not like rusting but it just has a especially on on camera it would come across as a very as a, as a red hue to me at least that's why i would would look look like so here we got our last oh look at all that showing up at that last pan we got some chunks we got some wire gold we got some pickers hi yi 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 very nice Again, that, that iron stone. Oh, man, if we put our magnet underneath there, that stuff will run. Yeah, see how it runs around on the... <laughs> it's like magic. <laughs> Not magic, magnet. I keep saying ironstone. It may be uh, it may be black magnetite, but from what I'd seen from the Alaska version of it, I would guess it was ironstone. But again, I'm no gynecologist. <laughs> but there we have it. A nice little finish to that bag with some big gold. Some awesome pieces. Again, too big to fit up the snuffer, uh, snuffer tube. But very nice and uh, beautiful characters. So I'll get these snuffered up. All right. I went through my tailings. I had two little specks that I found amongst all that. So that was it. So nothing got bias. Let me 
got some beautiful gold right there. Our garnets have all dried out. I rinsed off the, the red off the table here. I don't think it's as bad as the Gold Bay red clays. As far as staining everything else, it's a it's, it got around a little bit, but like I said, not it didn't hang on and uh, and just really trash the stuff like uh, like the Gold Bay did. So let's get that. Yeah, I just went through it real quick with the with the uh, blue. Pro pan there, and uh, those big riffles make it easy to, to rinse that stuff down really quick and uh, clean it out. So I was really kind of surprised. I thought I was expecting to get more, have more pieces that actually got by me. But there we go. It is some beautiful gold. And we've got some, some larger pieces down to some really fine stuff. Some wire. And it has that classic Lynch look. So we'll get this suckered back up. Snuffered. Snuffered back up. And uh, look at that. Awesome. And to finish this up, there we have, it is one day in the Louisiana sun, and you've got dried, bone dry, <laughs> uh, my hands are sticking from where I didn't, I should have dried my hands before I put it in there, yeah, uh, Lake Superior Beach Sand, so it is ready to, we're going to bag it up, and then, uh, one of these next videos will be going through with the magnets, separating it out, and start working through it a little bit at a time. See if we can find us a few specks of gold in there. But yeah, it's a, it's, it's pretty amazing. No telling how many hell decades or centuries that this this sand has been <laughs> been wet, either in the lake or washed up and on the beach, in layers of uh, you know layers of wet sand, and in a few hours. <laughs> it is it is turned to powder so very nice very cool thank you again ron for bringing that down i'm gonna gonna have some fun with that and there's my little boy out here yes there he is and you can see that his his little ouchie is healed up on his on his bottom there yeah yes so very happy with that he's much happier being outside than he was in there dealing with the hordes, right? With the menagerie. <laughs> so, okay, that's my boy Hurricane. <laughs> well, here we are. And check out that awesome gold. Beautimous, I'm telling you. It gets pretty damn fine there. So, very, very cool. And some, some, some beautiful con uh, character in that some really like i said some nice pieces there as well but before we get our weight on it let's go ahead and check out our i, I bagged up like i said one day in the louisiana sun is all it took to dry this stuff out thoroughly so we bagged it let's see what our weight's going to be on it and there we have it is 9.10 turn off the 9.10 so we're just a little short of 10 pounds and i would guess it, we lost probably 2 pounds of weight off of that in the uh, sun today so we were right around 11 or 12 pounds was the guess when it was weight so that's that's a good solid amount of black sand and uh uh material to go through fine material to go through so thank you again to ron for setting that up with us or setting us setting us up with that <laughs> and uh so we'll be doing that over over a series coming up
on getting getting through that a little bit at a time. So there's our beautiful garnet. And again, if we kill this, actually, if we kill that, we where's my? It's still daylight, but you get the uh, the beautiful effect of those molten garnets in there. That the red really really stands out when you hit them with the okay compared to the looking at them on top. I just love these things. Gator eyes. Well, it's the way gator eyes look in the swamp when you hit them with the with a the light. They they glow red. Turn my light back on. There we go. So again, the awesome gold nugget sales garnets, polished and uh, very beautiful. So now we got our gold here. So let's get out the old scale. This one's been my traditional scale has been operating pretty well. For some reason, it's back to being normal. I put, uh, you know, I, I keep batteries in it all the time. They're just regular. They don't have to be watch batteries. What is it? What is it, big boy? We're dead on our 20 there. Where's my, well, then where's my paper? All right. We are pretty clean there. Man, that is really shy. I don't know if you can pick that up if we're doing it again, doing it justice, but that is some super shiny, shiny gold. See, there's a few little few little trailing specks of sand. No gold in them. There's a couple. See, that's why I leave it in there. There's a few little specks of gold in with those, so we'll put that back in. But let's go ahead and see what our see what we come out on our scale. Little chunks adding up there. All right, that looks like easy there, big boy. So three point one three one four three point one four grams. I'd say we're gonna count three point one four of some awesome gold of a three gram bag. I don't think you can uh, ask for better than that when you've got gold that looks like it looks like that. <laughs> Man, that is some shine. Some serious shine. What is it, big boy? I don't know why a snowball is just raising. Huh? What's what's the matter? What's the matter there, my big white my big white panther? Huh? Yeah. What do you need, big boy? He's so pretty. Yeah. I just put some food out for you there. It's not dinner time yet with your wet food. So there was that. There's that. So let's uh, here we'll take a look at it on this. Oh, here is that beautiful gold up close and personal. You say we've got some really, really nice pieces. Very, very beautiful shine on this stuff. Some of it has a very, like that, has some very nice smooth qualities to it as well. And then our smaller pieces. Again, very reminiscent of uh, looking at old Lynch gold. So that's that's very cool. So on the, uh, the day that I bought this, um, gold was going for... What was it going for? $2,316 an ounce. I paid um, 
$237.95 for this bag of pay dirt. And <clears throat> I saw on his website it's actually gone down four bucks. So now you can get it for two thirty three ninety five. dollars um, So I ordered it from four twenty four. dollars So I'm not sure unless he just is finally, he's adjusted for, um, he had had it up higher for when gold was higher. But at any rate, you can, uh, it, it does, it tends to change with the price of gold. So uh, check into that whenever you're ordering it. But the, uh, yeah, so you can actually get it cheaper than this. So, but our 3.14 grams came out to a $234.69 gold value, which gives us a 99%. <laughs> it was actually 98.69. So, but 98, we count that as 99% ROI on the uh, on this bag. And if it actually, if I actually had gotten it for that 233 price, we'd have been at over 101 percent ROI. So 99 to 101, uh, you know, it's not that beautiful, beautiful gold at an awesome price and an awesome ROI. So very happy with that. And again, just cool to see some of this classic Arizona, shiny Arizona gold. And uh, I was never sure if, if gold, if Lynch got the gold like that, or if they actually washed their gold like uh, Gold Bay does on a lot of theirs um, to get the shine that they had. So, but I don't believe this is washed. I believe this is natural gold in its condition, in, in its natural sh condition. So, uh, I might be wrong on that, but yeah, beautiful stuff, and uh, I love it. So, and we got to stop in for a quick look at our our little. <laughs> Seven little darlings in the box here. And uh, there's our little calico, our little gray. There's a little orange tabby. There's the ones that look just like daddy with those white faces. This one's going to be, I think, a, a solid black. And then another one there with the little marking on the face and the white paws. Gray with the white face. <laughs> Look at this one, gray with the gray with the white face with the gray nose. So yeah, it's uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure we know who Daddy is <laughs> from. And then that's a, that's a little uh, any of these. Uh, that's a traditional calico. They're not the tortoise shell, but the I had one like her back many years ago, named Guinevere. I found when we were leaving, seeing Excalibur, and she was at the at the truck when I got in. So I adopted her and. Named her Guinevere, and man, she was mean. <laughs> she could be very mean. But uh, so, yep. Yeah. And then there's my, again, there's my little bottle baby who who loves to hop in there when mom, when Granny's in there and get him some some extra nipple when he can or she. It's a little girl when she can. So, but yeah, they're all you can see after three weeks. They're all looking very healthy. They're all eating good, even even with this little stinker in there stealing milk. And. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I just think I've never seen somebody, so many of them that have that same look like their like their dad out there. Angel was messing with. There's Mama. Okay, get back in there and round them up. She gives them some good licks, keeps them clean. She's she's a very good Mama and Grandma. She's been taking care of the, you know, that's cardboard where she pulls at the box in there. But yeah, little white paws, white faces. You know who Daddy is, like I said. So all's well though on the. On the on the home front with the kitties, look at those, look at those little darlings. <laughs> and like I said, it's time for this one to be heading out this week. I'll probably be taking it up trying to get her and her little sister adopted. And Gizmo's like, it's about damn time. We, we need to thin out some of these cats. Although he actually plays with them, romps with them, and uh, even even these even this little one curls up on him or under him and and plays with him. So yeah, there. Those are going to be some good kitties to have, just like this one, to handle any kind of any kind of animals. Well, we have to show my. <laughs> I got to give. I got to give a little time to my other little baby here. That's uh, the the bigger sister that did not need to be bottle fed and has been very healthy from the start and looks uh, looks like her mommy. So that's the three generations of tortoise shell uh, kitties that I've got right now living here. So, okay. All right. You're well, I'm putting you down. I'm putting you down. Hold on. Those claws are sharp. Those claws are sharp. 
Yeah. She, but she doesn't. Her mommy has the. You see yourself there. Her mommy has the white eye. She has the eyes like her grandma, where she's got the equal markings across her. So now they're all they're all coming in because they think it's dinner time, which it about is. So that covers all the, the last of the kitties there, and uh, that's uh, like I said, it's been been, been quite the uh, quite the situation here at the home front. So thank you again so much. To Mike for this awesome pay dirt. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing that and some a little detail. Um, interesting material. Enjoyed that. It's a beautiful gold. I would highly recommend getting these bags while you can because Mike's uh, company is just getting bigger and um, the stuff is uh, is you know getting more customers and selling out quicker. So, but you can also get it at uh, Vendetta Prospecting as well as Gold Nugget Sales. So I will leave a link. To both of those uh, sites on um, in the description. So um, I guess that, again that I guess that wraps it up. Beautiful garnets. We've got our big bag of sand that we'll be getting into from Mr. Ron. And um, uh, I guess uh, we got. I, I get and I guess we need to do a shout and a tip of the hat to St. George Parish, the newest, <laughs> the uh, the newest city. Uh, actually, the fifth largest city in Louisiana that has annexed itself, divorced, however you want to say it, from the uh, disgusting shithole that is uh, uh, the murder capital of the world, Baton Rouge. And so, of course, since it is over, you know, 50 percent, uh, yeah, uh, criminal, then uh uh, that that it, it basically it's just the rich white people moving away because they don't want to pay for uh, a bunch of BLM terrorist thugs and uh, scumbags and uh, want to actually have their kids in safe, decent schools and neighborhoods uh, away from uh, the rest of the town. So yeah, they built it, this town just they've annexed this town just south of Baton Rouge, and uh, of course what it has to do is with, with people that are sick of uh, you know the liberal policies that have made baton rouge the you know murder capital of the world or number two depending on where uh it falls behind or ahead of louisiana new orleans which was uh named uh the i think number moved from number one to number two behind detroit or something just recently so but we're always in the top thing but this is and this is a now a red state though with a governor that is a uh conservative and not a uh you know a fascist scumbag you know tyrant so yeah, they've uh, it, it passed overwhelmingly. Eighty, uh, like I said, it's one of the I think it's eighty five thousand people, the fifth largest city in New or in uh, Louisiana now. So, and, and that is the uh, canary in the coal mine for a lot of these states that are uh, that are the people are just sick of having to live under these scumbag criminal politicians, uh, activists, uh, you know, teachers unions. Um, all the all the warped shit that goes along with all of these scumbag cities that are blue, you know, blue cities, even in red states, just like we're seeing in Dallas right now. There, the hot the cops are hauling out. Like I said, I was watching it while I was on doing the bag. You know, University of Texas in Dallas. I live that used to be North Dallas, which was the more elite, uh, you know, higher end part of Dallas. Whenever you know the South was the you know the the projects and the farther north you went, the better it went and the better it got, which used to be a low way a lot of towns were. Uh, but uh, you or University of Texas of Dallas, an extension of, uh, you know, University of Texas, or, you know, University of Texas. And uh, yeah, they've got them out there occupying, occupying the grounds and they brought in the cops to haul their ass out. So that's, you know, uh, that's what we got to start doing. And then if they're on, if they're on a visa here, you know, evict them from the country, kick them out. And these people, if I had kids going to Columbia, going to Harvard, Yale, any of these, any of these, you know, Ivy League or state school or any, any schools that are that are taking part, they, they had them, they, they just now shut them down. They were in Tulane trying to do pull this shit in uh, New Orleans. In Tulane, cops came right in, shut them down and hauled the terrorist loving, terrorist loving scumbags out into jail if they refused. So that's what they, that's, that, that is the, that is the move. But, um, you know, yeah, that's, uh, that is the, that is going to be occurring in a lot more states that are sick of being, 
you know, under the dictator's thumb of the left. And uh, I mean, people that are people that aren't, you know, they're not fit to run a, you know, a, a, a lemonade stand on the side of the road, much less a city. And the ones that are in charge are, are almost all corrupt. And the more they investigate all these people that are after Trump, mostly black women, <laughs> mayors, um, uh, 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 you know, uh, um, judges, lawyers, any any of them that are that are that are doing Biden's bidding of these uh, of these libtards are all being exposed for the criminals that they are, or else they wouldn't be willing to do criminal things like they're doing to shut down. A legitimate presidential candidate in the in the you know the greatest nation in the world, you know that you've got to be a pretty big scumbag to even be willing to to take up that that uh, position against uh, your country, you know because you're you know because you hate one guy, because you know he's going to expose all of your scumbag and friends and uh, you know your your child fucking uh, pedophile terrorist loving uh, brethren that follow you so yeah so congratulations st george welcome to as a, welcome the city of, of louisiana and uh there's gonna be many more following suit so on that upbeat note i say this is by you gold guy once more saying thank you so much for supporting the channel stay with me and you know what's odd is i never have a any kind of the crap that you'd expect to get on comments on a channel that goes out uh, when YouTube actually does feed mine out to where it's getting views that, uh, you know, it, it gets thousands of, of views that are not subscribers every month and uh, many thousand more than, than are far more than are subscribed. And uh, never do I get what you'd expect to hear from the, you know, the YouTube, uh, what you see on the social media that you'd think, you know, anytime you say anything, you're attacked. The only ones that are attacking my channel are the actual YouTube <laughs> people that run YouTube, not the people that are just coming looking and saying, well, and I get the comments of by you. I don't agree with everything you say, but I agree with a lot of it. I don't agree with everything you say, but a lot of it sure is true and things like that. I still like your channel. So, you know, and that's fine. I, you know, I, I, I don't want everyone, I, you know, you're not supposed to agree with everything anybody says or most of what anybody says. And if you do, then you're not paying attention because it's, uh, you shouldn't. So, uh, I'm, I'm most grateful to to those viewers as much as as much as to uh, those of you that are you know uh, on the on the America First uh, side and uh, and and will will do anything that it takes to bring this country back to the greatness that it used to be. So, with that being said, by you gold guys saying thank you all so much. Please hit that subscribe button if you have not done so yet. A thumbs up would be nice, and you can see there is a join button there, and I'm still working on what that will entail on this channel, but there will be some uh, rewards, and uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be posting some videos on there, yeah, that will just be on the, not not necessarily gold stuff uh, that would be separate, you know, that other people wouldn't be able to see from just being a subscriber, but, you know, other things. It'll be maybe extensions of that or something. So at any rate, thank you all so much. Take care of each other. Enjoy some of this gold while you can. I would pick it up while it's hot. And uh, congratulations, Mike and Mike. Again, the brother's dose. <laughs> and uh, until next time, peace out, my friends. Mm -hmm.